Well, hey guys, what's up? What's going on out there this afternoon, this evening, this morning? I don't know, wherever you are right now as you watch this video, this uh, pre-recorded video for the Tennis Mindset Project. Uh, yeah, another daily dose of eh, some tough love from time to time. I uh, hope it is helpful. Look, today's topic is find a coach who totally believes in this dot, dot, dot. We're going to get into uh, this in just a second because it's really important. If you're looking for a coach, uh, I got some strong advice for you. And if you are a coach, <laughs> I've got the equally strong advice for you as well. Before we get into it, guys, every morning, 8 a.m. Pacific, uh, I typically go live. What's the right shot? Uh, it's a video of either one of my matches, singles or doubles, or someone else's match. Again, singles or doubles, and I cherry pick one point. Uh, play that one point for you. And right before one of the players is about to play their shot, I uh, pause the video and ask you, what do you think is the right shot in this situation? And it's really the answer is two parts. Number one, where do you think that shot should land over there? Or put yourself in that, in that player's position if that's you. What shot do you want to play over there? Where do you want it to land? And then secondly, just as important, where do you want to move to next on the court to enhance the quality of your shot choice? Every morning, we just passed episode number, as I'm recording this today, we just passed episode number 402 uh, and counting. So every morning, daily, 8 a.m. Pacific. If you're not on my email list, get on it. Web, uh, it's, it's Just go to webtennis.com, uh, drop in a first name, email address, and you'll be all set. Plus, you get a free course from me as well. Uh, but you will get notified in the mornings before 8 o'clock uh, what the link is, and you'll be good to go. So look, guys, find a coach who totally believes in this. And, you know, originally when I wrote this uh, over at Twitter, it was really more directed at coaches. And for those guys who were on the tour, right, they went out, guys and gals went out and played in the tour and never really completely made it, right? Maybe had a little bit of success, but never got to the point where this was going to be, a, you know, a 10, 12, 15 year career where they could, where they could retire afterwards playing. Um, or if they wanted to go into some kind of business, they would have some capital to be able to invest and do that. Um, that's really not the norm, right? Most players go in the tour. They don't make it as a tour player, which is fine. Um, that's still a hell of a level to be able to play at. But when you come off the tour, if you decide that you want to stay in the tennis industry and that you want to become a, a, a teaching pro to club or if you want to become a coach, the first thing you have to do is transition from when you were a player when it's all about you, right? I mean, you actually have to be a little selfish um, about taking care of yourself when you're, when you're uh, first when, when you're on the tour. But it's just the opposite. Once you get into teaching, once you get into coaching, it has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with your student, with your client, whoever that is. And for a lot of pros, I mean, I've seen this before. I was a head pro for, for decades. And one of my, the biggest parts of my job was getting the young guys coming off the tour, helping them transition to that mindset of, it's really a hospitality mindset. And a hospitality mindset is that, hey, what can I do for you? This is about you. This is no longer, hey, look at me. I'm taking care of myself. Aren't I great? Okay, fine. All right, you did whatever you did. But it's now your job to be able to go out there and really help people. And you're going to have to take care of them. You've got to make it all about them. You're going to have to be able to really dig in, see what it is they want, see how you can, be, how, how you can best help them. And, uh, and when you do that, that's when you really become a successful teacher a successful coach. So if you're a player and you're looking for a coach, make sure that the first few times that when you're on the court with that, with that coach is that that's the feeling you get from them. No matter what their resume is, no matter how high in the world they're play, they, they played at, whatever their, whatever their world ranking was at some point, that's got to be, that's really got to be low on, on whatever it's, um, you know, kind of, kind of low in the totem pole in terms of the messaging. It's, it's got to be all about you. And if you find someone like that and you feel like they understand you, they feel like you understand their needs, they're not trying to shove you into some kind of a system that maybe doesn't really work for you, but instead they're really trying to dig in. This is who you are as a player. This is who you are as a player in terms of reality, what you can do, what you can't do. And, and, and if you find someone like that, I would stick with them. If you don't, if you feel like this is all about them kind of showing off a little bit, hey, look at me, I would just, 
pay him for that one time and be done and go out there and look for someone else. Um, so listen, short message today. Hope hope this has been helpful. And and look, if you are looking for some private one-on-one coaching, I do offer it in really two arenas. Number one, here in Southern California, on court. Uh, and typically we, we work for a few days. I don't really do regular, uh, you know, let's say Thursday, 11 a.m. for an hour type of thing. It's more where players come to me for a few days and we spend two, three hours a day for, say, three days, and we work on that, do a lot of video stuff. Um, or we can get online, right, where you can do a video conference call and maybe look at some video and see where um, where you're at and where you want to go to. That's really my job. I feel like my job is to really figure out what your skill level is right now, and then um, you tell me where you want to take it, and I'll, I'll see if I can help you bridge the gap between those two, between those, uh, two skill levels, where you are right now and where you want to go. So the best way to get that conversation started, just shoot me an email, brent at webtennis.com. I'll send you a link to my online calendar where you can cherry pick a date and time for a free, that's right, on me, no charge, 15-minute coaching call where we'll do a, a video, video session and uh, I will have that discussion with you, right? You're going to describe to me where you're at right now, where you want to go, and um, I'll let you know how I think I can help you bridge the gap between those those two skill levels, and you can decide right then and there if you think this might be a good fit for your game or not. All right, guys, hope this has been helpful today. I know, very, very short message, but I think an important one. Down below, if you've got any questions, any comments, any 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 remarks, let me know. I'd uh, love to respond. Or if you want to keep the conversation private, no sweat, just shoot me an email, brent at webtennis.com. That is it for me today. Uh, guys, we got to get out there. we got to help someone else have a spectacular day. Guys... See you again next time.